was interested in um, getting an electric 12 string. So I took a pickup and put it in my acoustic 12 string, but it didn't quite have the sound that I was looking for. And around 1965, the Beatles came out, 64, 65. And I was really interested in the, uh, the sound that they were getting. So I went to see George Harrison playing a, a Rickenbacker in A Hard Day's Night. And that's what gave me the idea for the Rickenbacker 12. At the time I heard the Beatles, I was working uh, as a songwriter in the Brill Building, which is a famous uh, Tin Pan Alley in New York City. And my job was to listen to the radio and emulate the songs that I heard. And when the Beatles came out, I was doing that. So uh, naturally, I jumped right into that kind of music and started mixing uh, folk songs that I'd known before with the Beatles beat. Uh, things like, um, well, what later came out is Turn, Turn, Turn. To everything, turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, 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 and a time to every purpose under heaven. Roger McGuinn very much came out of folk music. He was in the Limelighters. He was in some traditional groups. Uh, McGuinn came out of that. What was really important was that, unlike a lot of folk music snobs, McGuinn heard the Beatles and said, this is the greatest. i got to start a band, too. But he brought a lot of folk music into it with him. Uh, most obviously, the 12-string guitar, which has in itself become a whole kind of subgenre. Uh, but McGuinn put things together in a, in a new way. And the fact that then it would work with Bob Dylan's lyrics as a Mr. Tambourine Man, suddenly opened up a world of possibilities. I used a lot of my banjo technique on the guitar. Um, I started doing uh, this rolling thing. And that would be the uh, substructure of the song. It would be in the song. Like, and then I'd put lead lines over it, you know, like on Eight Miles High. Like, which was influenced by John Coltrane's saxophone work that I was very interested in. So I was trying to get the valves opening and closing with the 12-string, you know. If you want to get real small about it, there is a whole line that you can follow from the 60s to the present that came out of the birds. And then, you know, in the bigger sense, the birds become one more color that goes in and out of everything else. And a lot of people, you know, Springsteen or Jackson Brown or any number of people will have their one birdsy song. Hey, Mr. Jam. 